and welcome to NDTV Hindu. You're watching News Tonight with me, Anusha Venkatraman. Here's wishing you all a very happy Pongal. While you munch away on your sugar canes and enjoy a sumptuous meal of Pongal, I'm going to run you through those stories making news across the nation and the world. But before that, I'll give you the insight of the top headlines. BCI picks the Indian squad for the Tri-Series in Australia next month. Sachin makes it to the squad after almost a year, while Budgie misses the bus. Thirteen murders in Chennai in 14 days. Cops claim to have solved 11 of them. Special team formed to nab the remaining accused. The worst fears of animal rights activists come to life. 42 severely injured in a bullfight festival. Former PMK MLA Vail Murugan launches a new party political party, Tamil Arval Urumai Kachi, aims to focus on a solution to the Muleperiyar impasse and safety of fishermen. In our special series on Chennai's worst roads, we focus on Mandavelli, where arterial roads haven't been mandated for 20 years. And NDTV Hindu joins in the Pongal festivities with the taste of tradition. Our top story, the Indian team for the ODI Triangular Series in Australia has been announced in Chennai just a while back. Sachin Tendulkar has been recalled after a gap of nearly a year. Sachin last played at the World Cup 2011. Paceman Praveen Kumar and spinner Rahul Sharma have also been included in the India's 17-member squad for the next month's Tri-Series. Irfan Patan also staged a comeback in the team. There were no major surprises in the ODI squad, despite the team's dismal performance in the ongoing test series, which India is trailing currently 0-3. And here's a look at the squad which was announced. Dhoni will captain the team, followed by Sevak, Sachin, Gautam Gambhir, Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, Suraj Rena. Zahir Khan will spearhead the bowling attack, which has Umesh Yadav, Praveen Kumar, Vinay Kumar and Irfan Patan in the pace department. R. Ashwin and Rahul Sharma, the two specialist spinners, while all-rounder Ravindra Jadija can also chip in with his spin. Yuvrat Singh, who is still recovering from a lung ailment and injured Harbhajan Singh, were not considered for selection. Varun Arun and Munaf Patel were also not considered because of their injuries. The Indians are scheduled to play two 2020 matches on February 1st and 2nd, followed by the Tri-Series, also involving Sri Lanka, from February 5th. And the chairman of the selector for the BCCI, Chris Shrikant, said injury was a reason of worry and that's why many players missed the bus to Australia. Uh, unfortunately, quite a few players were unfit, like Yuvraj Singh was unfit, reported absolutely unfit. Harbhajan Singh is still recovering from fitness, he is also unfit. Sri Shant is also uh, unfit. Uh, Munaf Patel is also unfit. So some of these guys are Varun Arun also is recovering from a back injury. So quite a few people are recovering from uh, injuries, so taking everything into account, uh, uh, taking the one-day track record into account, everything into account, I think the best team possible you've selected. Moving on, the worst nightmare of animal rights activists has come true. 42 people were injured in Jalikattu, the traditional bullfight festival in Madurai. The incident took place in Avaniyapuram. The injured have been rushed to a nearby hospital. The incident took place even when the district collector claimed to have inspected all the arrangements made for the festival. The Madras High Court had given the green signal to conduct the Jalikata last week. Everything from the medical reports of bulls to the on-site behaviour at all venues was in place, including medical booths with all facilities to meet any emergencies. Bull tamers were also given identity cards and those under the influence of alcohol or narcotic substances will be sent out. The festival will be held throughout the three days of Pongal. That was tragedy in Madurai, but nonetheless, on the occasion of Pongal, NDTV Hindu joined in with all the fun and celebrations. Our very own reporter Abhinaya caught up with all the festivities and a taste of tradition. It's Pongal and the mood is festive. The celebration will go on for two more days and as we all know, it's holidays. So families gather around to celebrate this festival. Today, we're going to look at a slightly rustic celebration in the city. This is the 
traditional dance of gummi that they're doing and i'm going to join them right now Pongal. Taking you through our next story, former MLA Panruti Vail Murugan has launched a new political party today. The name of the party is Tamilar Valvu Urumai Kachi. He added that the new party would strive to ensure that Tamilians get their rights in all aspects, cutting across caste and religion. He said, and I quote, the new party will struggle from the Munipiriya Dam to the Lankan issue. <laughs> Tamaragati Nalana Kagom, Tamaragati Urimi Kagom, Warada Vadirkum, Tamaraga Makala Kaga, Sadi, Madangale Kadande, Koragoda Padirkum, Tai Trinal, Tamar Trinal, Innalil, Budi Daga, Tamaraga, Varurime Kachi, and the Kachi and Angle Tonangi Kro. I'm sure we all agree, and we have been criticizing about the battered roads in Chennai for a very long time now. All have been complaining, but still nothing seems to change. Well, NDTV Hindu has decided to showcase the plight of every pothole like crater roads in the city. Today, it's the turn of roads in Mandaveli, where potholes are a part and parcel of the public's life. Modern Sale, Rumbana, Medum Balamada, Pana Angla Maria Porangla, Rumbo, Serma de Gulavaro, Pali Porapasan, Rumbo, Alola de Porapasan, Yellame Rumbo, Castapa to the Pondi Darga, Tropic Jam, Bavara Rumba, Muna Saramadi Mar, and Alamanda, the secret of Pudia Sea of Gravel and Adavadi Gedata, Rumba Pudumakalaka and Aladar. Nadula on the road is really under the Gaga Vichiran and the Kupoto on the Nadula Vichiran, Pora or Vandela, Nadia Brown or Road and Seri Gada, Kupay on the Permola Edit the Gada, no problem in there. After seeing these visuals, if you wish to air any of the bad roads in your locality, do get in touch with us. You can send in your videos or your complaints. It's your chance to become a citizen journalist. Do send in the details to feedback at ndtvhindu.com. I repeat, it's feedback at ndtvhindu.com. Is steel limitation going to turntables in the Varnasi elections? More on that on the other side of this break. Stay tuned. 